All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this HP Pavilion laptop model 15-CS3073CL. Okay, so first what you wanna do is remove the two rubber covers on the bottom of these feet. I just use my fingernails. You can use like a pry tool or something, but you just go in the edge, peel it up, and then pull it off, okay? Uh, underneath the two rubber covers, there's one PH1 uh, screw here, and then there's two PH1 screws on this side. So remove those three screws, and then at the bottom, you'll want to remove the three screws that using a PH0 screwdriver. Excuse me. So use the PH0 uh, screwdriver to remove those three and set them aside. Keep the screws in order because you don't want to mix them all up. All right. So first thing you want to do after you remove all the screws is you're going to have to pry up the bottom half and the sides. Okay, so this is going to be really tough. The clips are very strong, so you might have to use like a thin metal pry tool that's very flexible. Don't use like a razor blade or something because the metal in those are more hardened. And then if you flex them, they'll actually just snap. So you need something that's thin and flexible. And then uh, what you do is you get the tool in the little gap here. Let me see if I can do it close up. It's going to be difficult, but let's see here. Okay, so this one, they dropped it, so it got like dented. But I guess I'll start on the other side, so it's kind of more similar to your computer. But basically, you get your tool in, and then you kind of just pull up this way. You can do this with your fingernails. Um, people kept complaining about my nails. I ended up cutting them a little bit too short, so... Now, see, I can't do that anymore. So, yeah, so usually I leave my fingernails a little bit longer. I cut them a little bit too short. But anyways, <clears throat> you go along the side here, and then you kind of just, or the bottom, or the front, whatever you want to call this, and then you just pop up the edges just like this. Okay? If you're doing this and you don't have the tool, um, you can just wait till your fingernails grow out. You'll probably need them about double the length that I have them right now. So right now I can't really get them in there but yeah so just go along put the tool in this way and then pull it forward just like this put it in like this and then you just rotate it over okay you can probably do this with like a um, kitchen knife or something um, but yeah okay so now you go along here and then if you can you can pull from oops from the part that you just pried up and the clips should kind of release as the middle flexes up and it bows outwards like this. Um, but if it doesn't, um, you can use the pry tool along the sides as well. Okay, so as you saw, it popped off the whole cover. But um, the back clips here, um, if you have this the cover up like this, it'll come out pretty easily. And when you put it back, make sure you also put it back at that angle. Check, make sure that the gap is closed properly. And then you can push down all the sides and everything else. Okay. So that's how you remove the cover for this laptop. All right, so the basic stuff, you got a two and a half inch SATA S uh, hard drive. You can upgrade it to an SSD. There's also an M.2 um, SSD slot here. I don't know if it supports PCIe NVMe for that. You'll have to Google it, um, but it definitely supports an M.2. So check if it supports SATA or PCIe NVMe, that's very important. If you put a PCIe NVMe SSD in here and it doesn't support it, then basically it just won't let you install the operating system. All right, then you got the RAM here. So the RAM, let me see, if, okay, let me do this one. So to get the RAM out, just like every computer, you pull the little tabs to the side, it'll pop up at an angle like this, and then you can pull it out. All right, so the type of RAM is PC4 2666V. Oops, sorry, it's too blurry. I don't know if you can see that. But PC4 2666V, this is an 8 gig stick, so that means there's 16 gigs total because the other one is probably exactly the same. Put it back, you just put it at an angle like that. Make sure you push it into the slot all the way, all right? And then while you're pushing it in, just push it back down, all right? Make sure both sides clip in. <clears throat> CPU is not upgradable. People keep asking that uh, for all these different computers, so yeah. Um, and then you want to remove the battery. <clears throat> so the hard drives and RAM, you don't have to worry about removing the battery. Um, but if you're going to handle a bunch of other stuff, um, to be safe, you can remove the battery first, even if you're doing the RAM and SSD. <clears throat> but usually, I, I, don't, um, I don't remove the battery if I'm just doing RAM or SSD stuff. The only time I usually will remove the battery is for when I'm handling the L LVDS or LCD cable. 
Um, but for people that are just starting out that are kind of like clumsy, you might drop some screws or something in it. You'll want to remove the battery, <clears throat> excuse me, and then hold the power button down for several seconds. Okay. So there's four screws holding in the battery. There's two at the bottom here on the outer edges. And then there's two, one in the middle here and then one on the side here. So to remove the battery, you just use your fingers underneath and then you just pull it straight up from the top part. That'll disconnect the battery connector here. If you need to replace the battery, the model is HT03XL. Hopefully you can read that. All right, after you remove the battery, you wanna open the cover slowly <clears throat> and then hold the power button down for about 15 seconds. Um, this will drain any power that's in the computer so that it doesn't um, have any issues. Okay, this one was having wireless issues, so I'm going to check what the wireless card model is. Um, so the wireless card, Intel model AX20 or 201 NGW. Um, to remove the wireless card, let me see if I can show you that. screws out of the way again you want to keep the screws in order don't get them all mixed up so to remove the wireless card what you do is you just pull on the tail so there's this white piece of tape to show you that it's this little white triangle that's where it connects um, but basically you just pull up on the tail like this and it will come out okay you don't want to pry from the front or you can damage it you just want to pull from the tail just like this pull up straight up okay all right, so, oh, that's why their wireless signal was bad. So this connector actually had a bad solder joint. See, as you can see, it didn't even stick. So the antenna didn't stick to the wireless card, and that's why their wireless kept dropping out. So for that, um, you'll have to, if that happens to yours, you'll have to, oh, you can't see that. You'll have to see if you can rip this little connector out of here and then you'll likely have to replace this, the wireless card, or if you can solder the um, little connector in, then just try and do that. So I'm going to try and solder their connector back in so that way I don't have to buy a replacement wireless card if I don't have to, okay? So hopefully that will solve their intermittent wireless issue. It seems like that's most likely the issue. It wasn't being held down properly. Okay, so sometimes they solder it bad, but if you need a wireless card, it's this AX21NGW. Okay, all right, so I'm going to leave this wireless card out because I'm going to try and fix it. All right, so removing this little bit might be a little difficult, but we'll see if I can do it. That's a very small solder point. Most likely I'll have to remove the piece and then replace the wireless card. Okay, so let's see here. All right, so you got the fans here, two screws for this fan, two screws, actually three screws for this fan. So I guess, um, actually there's three screws on both. Okay, so these there's two here and then this, and then this screw shares with the other two and then one. This fan goes on top of this one. So just keep that in mind. All right, I'm not gonna take out all this stuff but uh, I'll show you the basics, how to remove the connectors. So the hard drive here, um, the cable goes along this way. So I'll do a close up because this is the one cable that I will remove. They are, all these cables are pretty much the same. As you can see, there's basically a little latch here. So let's try and get that in the middle. So there's a little latch here. You just flip that latch up. Once you flip the latch up, you can grab this little blue tab. If there's no blue tab, you kind of have to kind of uh, hold on the sides of the cable like this and then you can kind of pick it up and wiggle it and get it out just like that Okay, just be gentle because um, you can damage these cables make sure you have the tab flipped up I've had some people try and put the cable in without moving that and they end up damaging the the contacts on here So yeah, all right And you also you don't want to like fold over the cables because you can damage them that way they do fold them here Right, but uh, you don't want to cut kind of keep folding it back and forth or you can really damage the cables and they'll stop working Anyways, um, we're gonna remove the hard drive. So the hard drive has two screws It looks like holding this bracket in place. So remove the two screws um, This kind of stuff usually you can probably figure out just from looking at it, but this is how you do it All right, remove the two screws 
All right, after you do that, you can pull up from the metal brackets and then you can pull the hard drive out. All right, make sure, so this um, connector is stuck with a double stick adhesive to the hard drive. So if you want to change the hard drive, peel this out. Again, try and stay close to the connector and then pull it up. You don't want to like fold it over or anything, okay? So just like that. And then to remove this um, SATA connector, I just use my fingernail in the gap here and then I kind of push it out just like that, all right? So same thing with the other side. Oh, I don't think you can see that, but um, here we go. So my thumb is in that gap and then you just kind of pull it out, okay? Just like that. So you don't want to kind of yank on the sides and stuff because you can damage the connector. So sometimes people kind of like try and pull here. You might end up pulling this top of the connector off. Um, and yeah, you don't want to do that. And then it's also dangerous because the cable's there. So another way, if you don't have fingernails, um, you can get like a thin tool um, and then just stick it between that little gap and then kind of twist it and that'll start the process popping it out okay same thing just twist it on this side okay and then once it's a little bit loose then you can just grab the connector and kind of pull it out all right so you do want to transfer over these brackets there's two screws here and two screws here um i guess actually this side doesn't have screws so i don't know okay this one is just fitted in place with pins so you kind of just wiggle it and pull it out there's these two little rubber or plastic nibs that stick into the screw holes so you just push them back in okay all right so we're gonna put the hard drive back um let me see here what else so put the hard drive in make sure that these line up okay you kind of have to push the hard drive this way to get it over these little nibs to hold it in place and then you can put the screws back in Okay, so again, all these connectors are basically the same where you have the little tab, you flip it up and then um, you can pull it out. So I'm only gonna show how to release that one. Um, the other connectors I'll show if they're similar. Okay, and then I'm gonna see if I can show how to remove that little piece. It's gonna be difficult to do on cameras, but I'll try. All right. So there we go. All right, so you got an SD card board here. All right, so same thing, you disconnect like the other one, the M.2 SSD, like I said. You got the keyboard backlight connector here. It's usually a brownish orange color like this, but sometimes it's not. Um, then you got the keyboard cable here. You got the trackpad or touchpad cable here. All right, let's see. Everything else seems to be part of the board. You got the LCD, oops, LCD or LVDS cable. It also comes out like all the other cables. Um, but again, if you're gonna remove this, make sure you took the battery out and held the power button down. Make sure it's not plugged in, all right? Then you got the, what is this? DC jack, it looks like, but I don't see the DC jack here. No? Is the cable, oh no, no, no. What is this cable? Oh, that's for a speaker, it looks like. Okay, so this is just the speaker cable. It just goes directly into here. All right, and then you got, let's see. I think the speaker, actually, both of them connect over there. So I think the speaker bar goes all the way. Oops, let me zoom out. Goes all the way underneath the board, and then it connects to this one cable here because, yeah, usually the speaker will only have two cables. This has a bunch, so it's probably doing all of them. All right, then you got the DC jack connector here. So let me see if I can show you a close up how to remove that one. So this is also a very common connector. You basically just grab the two sides with your fingernails and kind of just keep wiggling it. As you can see, it comes out and then it'll pop out like that. Um, you don't want to pull straight back because it does put a lot of force on it. Um, so you just want to wiggle it like that, okay? All right, just like that. Okay, um, the wireless antennas to put them back, you just line it up over the antenna and push it down the little connector. But because this broke, I'm not going to be showing that. I'm going to see if I can take out this little connector that's broken. Um, and then you got this, oops, sorry, I keep forgetting to zoom back out. And then you got this connector here, um, which is for the two USB ports, okay? 
All right, and then this little hole is actually for like a lock. So if you lock the computer down to your desk or something like that, I almost never see anyone use that. All right, so that's pretty much all there is inside here. I'm gonna see if I can remove the little piece that got stuck inside of the uh, antenna. So it has these little um, legs that stick out where it's supposed to be soldered in, but the solder didn't hold. As you saw, I just tried to disconnect it and it just came off. Okay, so here we go. So to remove that, where you see the little, oh, actually I don't think you can see it, it's too tiny. But the things that are sticking out, you kind of just pull on it. So same way that when you lift it up, you pull from the tail. So if you can, try and get the bottom lip of this. But on this connector, it looks like that part is broken. So what I'm going to do... Oh, I don't know if you can see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the little connector that's stuck in there. So that way one of the little legs stick out towards where the tail is. And then I'll get my fingernail or a pry tool underneath where the tail is and try and pull it out that way. Okay. Nope. These tabs are all just breaking off. So I don't know. They made this one. It's The design is like too weak. Okay, let me rotate it again to the other tab, and we'll try this again. Okay, so I got part of it out. <laughs> so, piece of it came out. Yeah, so this connector, I don't know, they designed it really bad. But I'm pulling, trying to pull down, and then pieces are just coming off. Alright, I'm going to throw that away. So with this... Since they still have the one antenna, it should still work okay. Um, at least if you plug it into, let's see here. So the main antenna is actually um, the black one here. And that's actually what broke off. That's why they were having bad signal. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to replace that. Oh, my customer's calling right now. So um, that's all I'm going to show for now. I have to answer my customer's call. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. It'll also help others find this video. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Um, just if you need help putting it back, just watch the video, do everything in reverse. And yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.